What up, YouTubers? It's Matthew Vic, and it's the JoJo Lena. And are you tired of spending money at the landfill and want to put more money in your pocket? Well, I'm gonna show you how to save money and how to make more money. Here's a little tip. We did a job yesterday. We actually did four jobs yesterday. And one of the jobs was a bunch of wood. So what I did was I took a picture of the pile of wood, threw it on Facebook Market for free, and guess what happened? We're gonna drop this off this morning for free, so we ain't paying for the dump fee. So that's one way to save money. I mean, you could sell it, but we don't have time to do that because we live in an apartment complex. And she's very happy, look at her. We're saving money, she's happy. Aren't you happy? Yeah. It's all about saving money. And another way to make more money, check it out. Like I said, we did four and a half full loads yesterday. And it's all about how you hustle. So when you're starting a junk removal business, you gotta figure out ways to save money and make money. So we did a job yesterday at the end of the day in this dump trailer. And here's another way to make money. Check it out. It was a small little pickup. And this was like a hundred and I think $90 job. And we got a lawnmower. And I took a picture of the lawnmower and put it on Facebook Market, and guess what? I got someone picking it up today for 75 bucks. So I just turned that into a $200 job. So if you guys are doing junk removal, you come across mulch, you come across railroad ties, lawnmowers, dressers. If you can snap a picture real quick and throw it on Craigslist or Facebook Market for either free or for a little bit of cash, do it and make more money. And that's how you save money and make more money in junk removal. So I'm dropping this off right now, right down the street from the house before we head to the next job or the first job of the day. How important is that Joe to save money, make money, post stuff online for free or for a, a low price? It's important enough to do it every day. Every day. Every day. So be smart about your hustle guys. So we're heading on out and that's the tip of the day. So we're dropping the wood off and, um, you know, emptying out the dump truck before job number one this morning. It's all about saving on the dump fee. This would cost about $140 probably, but guess what? We're dumping it for free. save money all because of a Facebook market ad. About 12 hours later, we didn't have to go to the landfill. We just dropped it off down the street for free. So it's all about making life easy. We just got done with that job, saved some cash, had to head back to the house and grab this U-line. This cart right here will save you a bunch of time. If you're doing jobs outside and you can't back up to the pile, you just load this bad boy up, push it to the dump truck and you're done. All right, we're pulling up to the first job of the day and we got this job from a realtor and it's a realtor that has used us multiple times. So um, that shows you the importance of having a realtor on your team. They're golden. So we're at the first job of the day and I'm with the Jojo Lena. Are you ready to work? Ready to, you ready, ready to work? work? Let's yeah. get it done. Let me show you guys the job. So here's the jobby job job. That bench needs to go. This table's going. These little flower pots over here are going. It's got a chair right there. There's a bunch of stuff. Not a whole lot, but there's a bunch of little stuff all around this property. So this bench is going, this stuff's going. All this is going. Everything in this little shed over here needs to go. If you guys can see, it's not that bad. So all this is going. These little chairs and stuff are going. The bench is stained. These chairs are stained. This table is stained. But everything else is going. It's not that bad. Got some flower pots. And the reason why I brought that car, because check it out. I can just roll it over here. 
all the way over there, load it up, and push it all the way back to the dump truck, which makes it way easier than doing it with a dolly and a trash can. I can just load that bad boy up and get it done. So if you ain't got one of those U-lines, I would buy one or just wait till you get one off a job. And if you do, save them. I think they go for around three to $500 brand new. So got this from a junk job. So we're about to get to it. So stay tuned. JoJo's just at the shopping mall right now. What are you buying, JoJo? <laughs> Why are you laughing? Yeah, no, I'm buying money, money from a hauling job. That's, That's what, what I'm talking doing. about. Now we all about saving money here. You don't want to just take a bucket that has stuff in it, well it's leaves. That don't really weigh that much, but anyways, it's all about saving money <laughs> and not making messes. <laughs> so with this like soil right here, check it out. It don't really weigh that much, so check it out. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lighten the load up, baby. The less your dump truck weighs, the more money you'll save. So keep that in mind. And always, always, make it look organic, <laughs> original. Why are you laughing? Don't make messes like me either. <laughs> so another tip of the day is always wear boots. Because right now I just spilled some rusty water all in my Nikes. And let me tell you, it felt super good. So wear your boots. If you guys can see, JoJo's doing all the work again. Oh, wow. So in here is all kinds of stuff that needs to go. Um, not big stuff it's just little stuff so it's just going to take a little bit of time but that's when these come in so handy you just like load them up you're done in no time i ain't gonna lie i'd rather be out here working hard doing cardio than sitting at an office desk getting hemorrhoids sitting on your ass all day. Yeah. Isn't it nice out yeah. here? It's just, it's much nicer working outside. Outside, getting cardio yeah. and just uh, Even. take a break whenever you want. Ain't gotta listen to no one's BS. People complaining, asking for raises, not getting them. <laughs> We're just getting money. <laughs> and I think you should too. So think about it. Start your own business and be like the JoJo and Matt Vick. Something for all you gold diggers out there. I ain't single no more. And JoJo's been with me since I've been broke, so she's a keeper. <laughs> and just like that, we made a taco, baby. Hot sauce on my burrito, baby. Anyone want to buy a tent? I got a nice tent for sale for the low low for $19.99. And we will ship it out to you like the redneck always says. So yeah, give us a call. I get phone calls all the time from subscribers. Maybe you guys want to buy something this time. <laughs> oh yeah, and a new thing we're doing with subscribers call, I'm gonna hang up and then FaceTime you so I can see your face. <laughs> so you guys better be ready for that. Hey, bang! I need some more stuff for my ass. It's so fresh and so clean, clean, so clean, clean. Oh yeah. So the first load is done, and in my opinion, this is the best morning junk hauling job ever because it just feels great, and we're making money, and we'll be back. So, what's your prediction of the dump fee, JoJo? Seven hundred and fifty. Seven hundred and fifty. Yeah. 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 Seven hund
72. I'm gonna say 121. Let's see what happens. So the JoJo won. Yep. Wow. Pissed me off again. <laughs> Now let's talk trash in the dump line with Matt, Vic, and JoJo. We're gonna keep it moving. I'm gonna undo the back real quick while she talks to you guys, so. Oh, okay. Let's talk. Okay. Well, the first thing we're gonna say today is we're going to um, congratulate Jay Silva with trashyourjunk.com because he was our cover winner for the week. So um, we do, we offer a cover winner every week on Sundays we like to change it up and just kind of help other haulers out there um, you know advertise their business so this week it is Jay Silva with trashyourjunk.com so if you haven't yet go to our Facebook group trash talk and submit your logo or truck picture and maybe you'll be next week's cover winner so we're back here for round number two and we're about to shovel out these flower pots right here and the JoJo has something she wants to let the subscribers know. What are we gonna offer? Well, something we're thinking about offering is, um, you know, we're curious how many subscribers out there are in need of having a website built or putting keywords into your website or just maybe your website just needs a facelift. So we're just kind of curious if there's like a want and a need for that. So if you can leave a comment and let us know if that's a service you would be interested in because it's something we're thinking about maybe starting. So um, we'd like to see what the interest is before um, you know we begin something like that. So let us know. Yeah, leave a comment down below and maybe we can help you out to make more money. So yeah, we're about to get to this. I love digging. Oh, yeah. The subscribers are gonna like that. The wife's are probably gonna smack them inside their face, but yeah. Jojo be getting it. I'm a lucky man. You guys want to see something super cool? Do what you were just doing a second ago. Do it. Just do what you were doing. That she was, was over here twerking was it. Important. She yeah. was like twerking <laughs> it. You guys should have seen that. Yeah, that she was, was over here only just a show for you. twerking it. So yeah, you never know what's gonna happen to the shed pretty soon, baby. I'm gonna have to close that door. So yeah, we're about halfway done. And it might actually be another full load. A lot of stuff was hidden, huh? Yeah. yeah. So some you junk haulers always want to do, especially if you're new at it, and stuff spread around everywhere, spread apart everywhere, always do it by load. Because if you just give them a one load bid, it can possibly be two or three loads. You never know. Like this one's two loads, or close to two loads. So yeah. Yeah, that's really good advice. Always say, oh, I th we think it's gonna be between, you know, one and two loads at this price per load. And then it covers you. And if it's gonna be more, then you let them know it's gonna be more. So yeah, always play it safe. Don't just give a firm price. Oh yeah, we can do it for this price and lose money. Always want to win. Always want to win. So yeah, got some boxes over here. Got a little bit of booty over there. And we're just uh, doing what we do. Making come, money. Come look in here. Come look in here. Let's see. What's going on in here? There's lots of, obviously, there's lots of rodents that live in here. So it helps to not be a squeamish of such things. Oh yeah, you don't want to be at a customer's house and it starts screaming, oh, there's a spider, there's a no, rat. There's just, I'm sure, like there's popcorn and I'm sure that there's, so just know that there might be mice and just drop it down. Drop it down. And be ready for that. And if you ever come up to a customer's house and you walk in and it's nasty, smells like piss, don't be like, oh, oh, oh. Always be polite. Be like, oh yeah, we can do this job. Don't be in there gagging like, Ugh. 
You don't want the customers to look at you like you're cray cray. Always be super polite, even if they're living in some hoarder situations, which this ain't bad. But the lady yesterday we bid at a job at, it was horrible, huh, babe? That job yesterday? Yeah, no, it was bad. It was sad because hoarders, hoarders don't want to get rid of their stuff, and it's it's a psychological thing. It isn't like oh, just clean your place and you'll be better. It's you know you have yeah. to deal with hoarders sometimes. So always be polite to the customers no matter what. If it smells like cat piss, dog shit, smells like dead bodies, always be polite and smile. So yeah, we're almost done. Jojo! What? What happened? Uh, I scared I scared a rat. He was just he was running all over the shed like he couldn't find a way out. And I scared him. So rodents are generally more afraid of you than you are of them. And what do you look like when you've seen him? He was... Can we play some charades real quick? <laughs> what do you look like? He's about this long, not including the tail, that long including the tail. Uh. Running all over the place. He's good. He's good now? Yeah. I ain't going in there. I'm scared. Oh, there's nothing left in there. Oh, nice. Put her on the front line always. Always put your girlfriend or wife on the front line no matter what. You do not want to be the one getting bit or getting rabies. Keep that in mind. Worst tip ever. That's a good tip. <laughs> So job is complete, and let me tell you, that was some easy money. What's your prediction on the dump feed, Jojo? I won last time. This one's a little bit heavier, so I'm gonna say 85. I'm gonna say 101. And what did you steal off the tree? A the damn thief. <laughs> I love picking fruit off the trees. It's a loquat. So let's see what happens. So the JoJo has the tip of the day. Well, the second tip of the day. Maybe the third tip of the day. I don't know what tip it is, but it's a good tip. What did you do wrong, JoJo? Uh, when I was um, sweeping out the shed that had all the rat droppings in it, I did not wear a mask. And <laughs> I, so um, definitely you should wear a mask when you're doing stuff like that. So. And here's the mask. Grab that mask. Show them what kind of mask yeah, you This use. is good. This a is respirator. good when you're doing something like that. Or even just a, anything covering your mouth is good, really. Those but, are $45 at Home Depot. Yeah, these are good. We use these. Um, Cutting up hot tubs, yeah. sweeping dust up, and just rat shit. And yeah. Yep. JoJo even goes to the supermarket with us when she forgets her other mask <laughs> because of the coronavirus. <laughs> you see her walking around outside Safeway looking hella goofy sometimes. <laughs> But it is what it is. So guess who won again? Yeah. It was the JoJo. Yeah. Although I was wrong because I thought it would be heavier. And it was lighter than the last load. But I still won because I... Because I'm good like that. Whatever. <laughs> Piss me off again. <laughs> so we're back here at the landfill. Doing what we do. And we just met a subscriber too. What's up, Sam? If you're watching right now, what up? We seen him pull up on the scale. He's like, hey, you're Matt Vic with the YouTube channel. I said, yes, I am. So what up, Sam? Youngster out here getting money, huh? Yeah, he was. It was, it was, he hopped out of his truck and it was uh, the look on his face when he seen you. He's like, oh, you're, <laughs> yeah, that was great. Yeah, so we're back over here at the landfill. We'll be heading to the next job shortly. So stay tuned. stuff super nice. Resell? Yes. Okay, I'm about to get done. Okay, so job number two? It's complete. It's complete, yeah. And it's a bunch of resellable items. It is. There's a lot of good stuff back there I think that we could resell. Um, they got our name off of Yelp. So, see, Yelp does help. Yelp does help. <laughs> does. I didn't mean for that to rhyme. Yeah, Yelp does help. <laughs> And if you guys ever come across any mattresses that have bed bugs or couches that have bed bugs, 
the public storage place and other storage units places, they do sell mattress bags and couch bags where you go in there and you purchase them. You go to a house and you can just wrap them up real quick and you ain't gotta worry about the bed bugs. So a good place to get those is here or online on eBay, it will be even cheaper, but yeah. Easy money, right? Yes, super easy money. And um, you just keep getting paid because you can sell the items, so yeah. It's a win-win situation. Now we gotta go get a job for a doctor and I think it's gonna be a waste of time, but we're still gonna show up. She said the first, she said yesterday that it's gonna be, I think only about, a minimum pickup what do you guys charge $50 I'm like no man we charge more than that and then she sent me a picture today and I told her it looked like a full load she says it can't be I drove by your truck before and it'll fill like halfway up so we're gonna go by there so we might waste our time but it's part of the game so we're heading over there right now yeah. and sometimes the rich people are the cheap people <laughs> there's a reason why they're rich because yeah. they don't spend their money <laughs> then the people that are struggling and barely can make ends meet are the ones that tip you i don't know why it's just crazy like that yeah anyways we're heading on out and today is a good day ain't that right jojo today is a great day so you want to make extra cash picking up trash guys what you do you unwrap it, you leave it in the back of your dump truck or dump trailer, you grab your phone, you snap a picture, and you go on your phone, you post it on Facebook Market real quick, see how fast that was? About a minute and a half. Then you wait for someone to call, you say hello, you tell them meet you at the house, and you know what happens? You got money in your pocket, and you're saving on the dump fee. So, dressers, patio furniture, you'd be surprised how fast they go. So yeah, if it's real wood, they'll sell. Even some particle board ones will sell too. So that's another tip of the day. Post online before you unload it. So we're pulling up to the next job and it's an 85% chance we're not gonna get this one. What do you think, Jojo? I think it's probably a 90% chance and she's definitely not gonna get that $50 price tag that she's Hell <laughs> no. <laughs> but she lives close to the house. See if we can talk her into it. We'll see what happens, but I highly doubt it. So yeah, let's see what happens. So guess what? I was wrong. We got the job, but we're not doing it today. Cause I'm tired. <laughs> Done of working, I'm tired of working. And look where this place is at. And she was willing and dealing and trying to have me drop the price. But I did let her know, if you pay cash, we can give you a little bit of a discount. So that's something you guys definitely want to do. And Jojo. Yeah. You were wrong. We got the job. <laughs> no, I was very wrong. So we'll be here Friday to knock it out. And it's almost a full load. And she was willing and dealing. So if you guys like these videos, hit that like and subscribe button. Keep your prices up. Unless you're paying cash, then you can drop it a little bit. And what do you want them to do, Jojo? Well, hit the like button and subscribe. And keep hauling and bowling. <laughs>